Hey, this is Superdale. Okay, yet another crash happens every other week with people that don't get proper gear training. But what happens this time? Uh, very simple, glider's not roll stable. That means instead of buffering an oscillation and dampening it and stopping oscillation on its own, it actually increases oscillation until you flip upside down and crash. Well-known thing, I did a video about this in 2017 and a thousand other videos showing this problem. That's why you buy from an instructor that knows what they're doing and who tests the gear before they give it to you. Because like the glider in my test right here, you can see that's actually a certified glider. Yeah, a beginner class, the safest class of glider that's certified that is not roll stable and will actually intensify a roll. You cannot sell that glider to a beginner. So that's it in a nutshell. Very simple, watch the video. Okay, so as you can see, guys just holding power, under power. Of course, they claim he passed out, whatever. You can hear him modulate some throttle. It, they always come up with a lie like that to try and pretend, oh, it wasn't the instructor's fault. Oh yeah, the guy just passed out. I've heard, you know, the guy had a heart attack in flight, you know, about 75 times over the years. They've used that lie over and over and over. So there, people like that are always gonna come up with some sort of lie to pretend that it wasn't the instructor's fault. They sold him a glider that oscillates and is not roll stable to a 72 year old guy with a huge honking, totally uncertified height hooking point trike and a glider that's not roll stable. It's, I mean, as simple as can be. You're chucking a guy into the sky with no real actual training or skills. A guy who's 72 takes quite a bit of training and you have to go to someone honorable enough to say, no dude, you're not ready, you can't fly yet. That's why you go to an instructor so that they can you know, train you until you have the skills to fly. But these fake instructors just chuck people in the air with no training whatsoever. So the guy has absolutely no clue what to do. And obviously he has no communication, so they can't talk him through it, period. Guy crashes. Then, you know, you get yahoos on the internet trying to pretend like they're experts. Uh, one is this Tucker Got guy who gets all kinds of people seriously injured and killed. So it's kind of, I mean, it's funny, but it's horrifyingly bad because it's so messed up. But I went up his video and wrote down everything he said just so I can address all the totally false information because it's very irritating. You know, you're trying to get into the sport and you just want the freaking truth with no hold bars, no BS, no trying to sugarcoat it. You want the truth because it's your freaking life on the line. That's why you talk to Superdell because, you know, you always get the straight up truth with no BS and no sugarcoating. So, Tucker says, the tr trikes tend to oscillate. It's a trike, dude. Gliders oscillate, not trikes. Trike has absolutely nothing to do with it. Trikes don't oscillate. A glider's either roll stable or it's not. The Dominator that I personally recommend because it's the best glider I've ever found is roll stable clear down to the 14 square meter. That's an extra, 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 extra small glider. It's still roll stable, which you can see in my videos because I test it before I ever sell a glider like any glider. I test them personally with my life before I go recommending it. That's what an honest instructor does. So no, it don't matter if there's a trike on it or if you duct tape your buddy to the back of you or if you got three girls hanging off the side. Glider's either roll stable or it's not. He says sloppy hang points are less likely to oscillate. They got these stupid sloppy bars that go up and down. That does not give you weight shift. What is, what is weight shift? How's weight shift work? Weight shift, you want more weight shift? You make your hook in points wider and fixed, solid. 
How do you make one hook end point go up and one go down? Well, if they slop up and down and you try and go this way, that bar can go down, this one can go up, you're not really in control. The way you make one hang point go down and one come up is you simply make them wider. Same thing in free flight. But see, these guys have never been pilots. They've never actually been paragliding. They're not paraglider pilots. They don't know anything about the sport. You want more weight shift? In free flying, you simply widen your hooking points. It's very simple. So that way, when I lean to this side, I'm putting my weight on this side, it makes it lean that way. That's weight shift, not sloppy bars. And sloppy bars or no sloppy bars, that doesn't change whether a glider is roll stable or not. So again, total ignorance. Then he says the Death Trap Free Ride is a more advanced glider. So while he's pretending to be some expert and reviewing this thing with totally false information, he pushes a total death trap, which is the ozone free ride. Again, notice the video I put online where you can watch a guy die on YouTube. Yes, you watch him die. He is flying perfectly straight and level on an ozone free ride that Tucker got is promoting in this video as their cool advanced glider. Guys flying straight and level takes one collapse because hoax flex gliders are nowhere near as stable. It does a backflip 180, locks into a face down spiral, bam, dead, over. So this is the problem. People like Tucker Gott are the most deadly thing in the sport because they're filling people with totally blatantly false information that is the opposite of what's correct. No competent pilot flies a piece of crap free ride because who in their right mind is going to fly a glider that's thousands of times more likely to collapse? And one collapse, you do a backflip 180 and lock into a spiral face first into the ground. Anyway, watch my video of the guy dying on the free ride that Tucker got is literally promoting after another guy crashes on a glider. It, it, yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Next thing he says, more advanced gliders are more likely to oscillate. Huh? Actually, more advanced gliders are usually higher aspect ratio and they have a lower, slower roll rate. It's actually lower aspect ratio gliders that have a much snappier roll rate. That's why an Edge 40 has, you know, Edge 540 or like an extra 300L. Acrobatics airplanes, they don't have long skinny wings. Sailplanes do and they roll slowly because long skinny wings. So what he's saying is actually not correct and it really has nothing to do with anything it's just him trying to pretend like he knows what he's doing when he doesn't after he promotes total death trap gear and people who are not instructors as instructors so uh next thing shows a clip of av heater ppg as though they are teaching people again given a little subliminal messages you know trying to push people as instructors who literally are not instructors they're not even pilots. They don't even have the basic skills. It is very simple. Challenge anyone out there acting as an instructor to show a video of themselves doing what you see brand new super students doing. Either they can or they can't. There's no opinion to skill. They can or they can't. Either they'll post a video and they'll have integrity and want to compare honestly and want you to know the truth or they're going to hide the truth from you like Tucker got. But Tucker, he doesn't give a crap. It's all about the money. They're just paying him to promote total garbage gear anyway. So he's promoting these people that are totally not even instructors. They literally, there's a video of the Aviator PPG put out and all four of their instructors try and do a run and jump. You can watch in their own video, three of their instructors took collapses and the third one pounds into the ground because he totally did it wrong. And that's, of course, Eric Farrell, their main guy, who literally doesn't have even the most basic skills. Look at their own video. They literally, not even their instructors, can maintain basic control in a maneuver. At super training, you literally have to be able to do that maneuver 10 times in a row without one single loss of control or you don't fly. So literally, all the instructors at Aviator PPG, if they tried to come through super training, they would flunk. They literally don't have the basic skills. They don't belong in the air because they don't understand how to control a glider. And Tucker is promoting these people as certified instructors. Total fraud. Again, you got to be very careful of who you're listening to. Overloading a glider causes oscillation. Overloading a glider. There's a lot of people that don't really understand loading. 
Gliders are designed to take loads of up to 3,000 pounds. Think about it, okay? If say you weigh like 230 and you put on 70 pounds of paramotor, now you weigh 300 pounds. Then you pull 10 Gs. How much do you weigh? 3,000 pounds. So adding like a 30 pound trike or an extra trike or pulling two Gs is not overloading the glider. So no, overloading the glider does not create that issue. It's a crap glider that is not roll stable that creates that issue. I mean, we can fly a 14 square meter Dominator and it's still roll stable. So again, trying to pretend, oh, well, yeah, there's extenuating circumstances. No, it's the instructor's job to put the student on gear that's safe and train him properly. The instructor failed, he's on the wrong gear, caused a crash, very simple. It's been happening for years and years and years, same things. Holding power causes oscillation. Again, Tucker got totally false. You don't know anything about the sport. Holding power does not cause oscillation. Gliders that oscillate cause oscillation. Watch any Superdell video as I've tested it. Watch my video from 2017 right here. Look, see? Yeah, uh-huh. Testing these things. The glider is either roll stable or it's not. I went out and did the exact same thing with, again, a 14 square meter dominator under power it dampens the oscillation. One, two, three, four, maybe, and it stops oscillation. A quality glider will stop oscillation by itself. That is absolutely critical to have. You don't sell a glider that's not roll stable. Really, nobody should have it. What happens if you did pass out? What if you're an advanced pilot and you pull a bunch of Gs and you do pass out? Do you want a glider that's gonna kill you? Are you freaking kidding me? Don't sell those gliders at all, let alone to a newbie. Yeah, don't do that. There's no reason to. Do you see the performance of a Dominator? Yeah, these guys can't do what we do on Dominators. We have incredible performance on the quality gliders. There's no reason to fly a deadly pile of crap. Okay, trims up can increase oscillation. Gliders oscillate, they're either roll stable or they're not roll stable. It, that's it, period. It's not about this and that and the other thing. Oh, well, if you do this and you do that, and then, if you sell a glider where you put the trims up and all of a sudden it oscillates and is no longer roll stable, you are a moron and should not be an instructor and should not be giving an advice. So the problem is they gave him the wrong freaking glider. They gave him a horrible glider. They're not instructors. They didn't test the gear. They don't know crap about the sport. And they're just like Tucker got. They don't know crap for crap and have no business going around giving people an advice and pretending to be an authority. So yeah, number one cause of death in the sport, people like Tucker got and Kyle O and Blackhawk and Kurt Fister and all these people that don't know Jack and they just push total garbage gear, complete incompetence, call it training and go around pretending, you know, patting each other on the back, pretending they're instructors. That's the problem. The facts are very simple. Fly a roll stable glider, get the right paramotor, which right now is only a flat top and get real actual super training, real training. If you can't find any other instructor that can do what my students can do, do you think there's other legitimate training out there? I challenge any of you instructors out there to show a video of yourself doing what super students can do in all of my videos. Either you can or you can't. If you can, and there is a legitimate instructor out there who has legitimate skills that they're legitimately teaching to students, I would be happy to recommend you. It would be so much nicer than saying super training is the only school in the world teaching proper skills. But until one single other person demonstrates that they actually have the skills and teach the skills, I am stuck having to say, looks like I'm the only one. It kind of sucks. I wish if you're in Ireland, I could go go say see this guy because he has the skills and he's teaching. So <laughs> yeah. Skill is skill, there's no opinion. Either they can show it or they can't. Now most of them, if you even challenge them, they'll be like, oh, that guy, shit, oh, blah, blah, what a loud mouth, blah, blah, blah. You're like, that's not what I asked. I said, can you show the skills? And they're like, oh yeah, nobody likes that. 
No, that's not what I asked. Can you show the skills? So you gotta hammer people down and look for the facts because your life depends on it. If you wanna get chucked in the sky with no skills on a glider that isn't even roll stable, like an ozone, okay. Says he overloaded a glider by adding a trike. <sighs> no, no. Okay, let's think about this for a second. Let's say you weigh 230 and you got 70 pounds of paramotor with gas and a reserve. So now you weigh 300 pounds and you add a 30 pound trike or you add a 100 pound trike. Okay, let's say you weigh 300 pounds. You pull two G's. How much do you weigh? 600 pounds. So let's say you add a 200 pound trike. Are you overloading the glider? No. People like Tucker Gott don't know jack squat. You have to look at the skill level of the people that you're talking to and the competency. Do a little research and try and see what the actual facts are. No BS, no you know feelings about it. If you really get all sensitive and are more worried about how you feel about the truth than what the truth is, you don't belong in any form of aviation. You need to be a little more mentally stable and be able to take the truth straight up. If you can't, don't come to me. I don't want to try and put you in the sky if you're so emotionally weak that you're going to get all pissy because you don't like how you feel about the truth. Seriously, this is aviation. People's lives are at stake. We need to tell the truth, do what's right, and not kill people. You would think that would be a good thing. Okay. Uh, then Tucker Gott admits the ozone mo mojo that he promotes and pushes oscillates violently, which they sell to newbies. So in his own video, he literally shows and admits, not a bright guy, but kind of too stupid to tell the right lies. The, like he literally admits in his own video that the glider they're pushing to newbies is not roll stable. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker Gott. We appreciate you telling the truth about horrible crap gear that you are pushing. First you push a death trap, then you push totally incompetent people as instructors, and then you push a glider that's not roll stable to newbies. Um, might not want to listen to Tucker Gott. Says, aviator teaches oscillation control. Listen to any of their videos and listen. Do you hear them teaching oscillation control as their students are leaving the ground? Do you hear them saying left break now, right break, left break, left, right, and back and forth and walking them through the oscillation control to stop the oscillation? No, I challenge anyone anywhere in the world to send me a video of any instructor putting students up on their first flights that's walking those students through torque control and oscillation control, which are the first things you should be getting on because it's the first thing that's going to be new to them as they take off. Then he tries to say how they teach it by this and that and that, the total crock of crap. Watch the video. Either they're saying that or they're not. The last aviator training video I saw, all they said was pressure, pressure, go, 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 go. It's like a it's like a Kurt Fister video. It's like, dude, we can train you. Go, go, go. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Go, go, go. There's your training. Want to hear it again? No, that's not training. Listen to a super training video of new students taking their first flights. Listen for the instructions. Listen for the sheer amount of instructions. Watch what's happening and see how quick the instructions are to respond to exactly what's happening. And then compare that to another instructor. You got to use your head if you're going to be in aviation. Use your head or you're going to be dead. Or don't go and get into aviation. Okay, so no, they don't. Again, another totally false lie, pushing people that don't know what they're doing as instructors says it's torque that causes oscillation. No, dude, no. If you hit the throttle and it torques you right, that would actually eliminate oscillation. Interestingly enough, one way to eliminate oscillation is turn. If you simply yank a turn, pull a turn, and maintain a turn, it will eliminate all the oscillation. Bam, gone. It, pretty simple. So no, the torque does not cause oscillation. It would be a pilot 
could cause it using torque by going full throttle, full off throttle, full throttle, full off throttle, but torque does not in itself create an oscillation. It creates a turn because it only torques one way. That's gonna create a right turn if it's torquing to the right. If you actually held the throttle down and just went right, that would actually help prevent oscillation. So again, it's totally false, but you're talking about someone that just doesn't know what the freak he's talking about. He's just pushing videos out there trying to get views, doesn't seem to care about your life. And I've talked to him many times about not pushing death traps and the worst gear on the market and pushing people as instructors that are totally incompetent, but he doesn't care. It's like talking to a brick wall. Tucker, if you're listening, stop pushing death traps. Stop pushing people that literally don't have even the most basic skills. What the freak, dude? You know what? You could do a lot for the sport since you, you know, you got a lot of views and just happened to get somebody, you know, to go viral. That's great. Use it for good instead of evil. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Says oscillations don't typically go past horizon. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Dude. Um, Again, you know, this is kind of a video, not only on the crash, but this shows you an example of the real reason so many people get seriously injured and killed is because of people who are totally incompetent, like Tucker got. Completely false, 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 false. Says Ashley's no typical. No, look at the glider. It goes upside down. Watch the video. If a glider's not roll stable, it will very commonly, or depending on the glider, if it's not roll stable, it'll keep rolling faster and faster. It doesn't know where a horizon is. What the freak does a piece of cloth know about horizon? It doesn't know jack about horizon. So how the heck is a glider? Oh, it's going to stop at the horizon. Where's the horizon? Upside down? Yeah. No, gliders don't stop. Yeah, Tucker doesn't work that way. The, unless, did you call the glider and send it some cupcakes and tell it, oh, will you pretty please know where the horizon is? Did you put a microchip in the glider and explain to the glider where the horizon is? Yeah, no, Tucker, I don't think gliders know where the horizon is. So they're not gonna stop where you feel like it just because you made a video to get some views. So, there you go. That is my assessment of how not to die while you're flying. Number one reason people die is they take advice from people that have no freaking clue what they're doing, who are promoting the absolute worst and most deadly gear in the history of the sport. And people, at, they literally promote people as certified instructors who can't do what brand new super students can do. Am I wrong? Please prove me wrong. Show me wrong. Post a video in the comments. No need for bashing, trashing, lying, talking garbage. Post a freaking video. If I'm wrong, great. Please, somebody do this much research and find a video. Okay, it's going to take you like endless to the end of time because I'm saying it doesn't exist. But I challenge you to find a video of those guys doing what you can see brand new super students doing. Either they can or they can't. There's no opinion to it. There's no bias. Can, can't. Where's the bias? There's no, it's like you can, you got skill, you ain't got skill. There's, it's like it's there or it's not. Please prove me wrong. The thing you need to do if you're interested in this sport is to do some freaking research and use a few brain cells. Either what I'm saying is factual or it's not factual. It's great when people like me say they're the best. Hey, I just did something, this is the best. That's great because it makes it very easy for you to very quickly prove I'm either a liar or I'm right. There's no opinion, there's no bias. Either I'm lying and I'm not correct or I'm actually correct in what I'm saying. And yeah, again, I challenge you. By all means, <laughs> show people beating what I have shown. Either they can or they can't. This is how you research. Paramotoring is literally one of the most ridiculously safe things you can do if you get a flat top paramotor specifically, a dominator paraglider specifically, and you get super training specifically. Now, why is it those three specifically? 
Because I can't just say, oh, there's some other safe gliders. Because that's not what an instructor does. An instructor says, this glider right here is the one to get. I don't go, here's like, yeah, there's kind of generalizations. Maybe you could get... You don't want to go searching through and try and figure it out. What kind of crap is that? That's the whole point of going to an instructor so he can hand you all the facts on a silver platter and keep you safe. If you come to me, I'm not going to go, well, here's 50 gliders. Which one do you want to choose? Dude, you came to me. I'm going to say, okay, here's your weight. Here's your skill level. Here's where you live. Here's your A's. Here's what you want to do. Here's how many flights you got at class. Here's the smallest glider you flew at class. This is the glider you're going to get, and this is the size you're going to get. You could say no. But that's my job is to give you very precise, accurate information as the instructor, not some Joe Blow on the internet who doesn't know jack for yak. You've got to say specifics. All these people trying to pretend they don't want to hurt anybody's feelings by saying this is the best, this is the right way. No, this is the right way. That's an instructor's job is to teach you the right way. There might be another glider that's as good as a dominator. I have tested piles and piles searching for a glider that will beat the dominator. But I can't say, oh, well, there's other gliders as good. I can't. I have to tell you, get a dominator. Because I know for a fact that glider is the safest glider I've ever tested. And I continue to test gliders constantly. I can't give you a wishy-washy thing. That is what a bad instructor does that's totally incompetent. You need someone that gives you the facts. Get this glider, get this paramotor, get this training specifically. Don't fly until I say you're ready. Even if you don't pass the class, listen, because my job is to try and get you flying when it's safe. And if you can't pass a solid level of glider control, you don't belong in the air which is a perfect example. I had someone come from Aviator PPG who tried to train there first. That's what Tucker Gott promotes. Hello. Anyway, yeah, he went there. They tried to chuck him in the air, fell down. His prop hit him in the foot. 